Hi guys, this is a presentation on some best practices when designing sign-up forms and web forms in general. Um, how, do you, how do I get more visitors to sign up? It's a question that a lot of business owners ask themselves. It doesn't matter if you're selling financial consulting services or if you're a tech startup, you need users to sign up to your website. I'm about to give you a few tips on how to get the most out of your sign-up forms. First, you need to understand what is that potential customers are looking for. If you've read the book entitled Submit Now by Andrew Check, you'll know that in theory there are four main needs of a user that should be satisfied. Availability, making your form easy to find. Usability, making your form easy to fill out. Confidence, making the user certain that they are taking the right action. And desire, increasing the user's willingness to fill out the form. The way to do this is to answer some basic questions that come up for users when filling out a form, such as, what exactly am I signing up for? How long will this take? Or is this really worth signing up for? Let's see these principles in action. Facebook gives a graphical representation of what the service is for. Foursquare, which happens to have a longer than usual sign-up process relatively to other social media apps, gives users a clear roadmap of what's about to happen. I can see that I will first fill in my info, find friends who use Foursquare already, invite some others, and then hook up my other social media accounts. WordPress makes me feel like signing up is going to be really easy. Tumblr gives me the impression that I'm just three fields away from starting to post my new blog. I like that. When I sign up to LinkedIn, I see a progress bar pushing me to fill out my profile. I'm so close, all I need is another recommendation. As I sign up for Basecamp, I'm reminded of how many users there are, how great the service is, and how secure it is. And just in case I'm worried about having to pay for it before I know what I'm getting, I'm told that there's merely a, this is merely a trial and that I need not worry. Mint.com does a nice job of validating form fields. That way I'm sure to catch any mistakes right away before submitting the form. It's much better than finding out about my mistakes after having submitted it. It even identifies my city to make sure that my five digit zip code is correct. You may also have a few questions about sign up form trends. For example, where should the labels go? Studies show that when you place form labels above fields, it reduces the number of eye fixations. That means users can fill out the form quicker. But this takes up vertical space. If you're tight on space, place the field labels to the left, but align them to the right. 41% of popular websites place labels on the left of each field and align them to the right, while 30% place them above each field. There are certain fields which you'll want to make mandatory. It is well known that more, um, the more mandatory fields you add to a form, the fewer the submissions. It turns out that 54% of popular websites require up to five fields to be filled out. Only 12% require nine or more fields. And as for optional fields, 62% of websites have no optional fields. As for page length, you may look into making pages shorter in length to reduce up-down scrolling by users. This is an example showing the Basecamp sign-up page before and after their redesign. It turned out that a lot of visitors were scrolling to the bottom of the sign-up page just to see what was down there and read some of the information, whereas the new one has all the same information conveniently placed to the side of the form. One major feature that I would recommend is allowing sign-up using Facebook. The feature has been shown to increase sign-ups by 30 to 200 percent on major websites and is easy to implement. Keep in mind that there are a lot of people with Facebook accounts online, just around 500 million. Here's an example of how Foursquare implements it on their sign-up page. Just in case you're scared, of the, scared off by the long form, they threw out a, a life raft in the form of a Facebook login. That concludes my presentation. Here's a list of websites that came in handy when putting together these slides. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much.